Um, okay, well then, the first anime, um, the first like, anime role you had was also huge, like, in Vash. Trigun was That's the first, yeah, the first one. Um, did you know that it was going to be so big? No. No, no, no. I had no idea. Um, I just knew it was a really fun show for me. It was a really cool, fun show for me. Um, and, you know, in Power Rangers, I called myself the background ranger, you know, because, like, you know, you'd have Tommy or the Pink Ranger, and they'd be in the front, and I'd be back here. about all I did. Eventually they gave me some stuff here or there, but uh, for me I was just like, when are we, when are we gonna do the fight scene? Um, and so, so yeah, it's doing a uh, Trigun, it was, a, it was scary for a couple of reasons. First off, it's, I don't want to tell, this may be a long story, but basically like, you know, like when you first do your voicemail message and you hear it, you're like, ugh, that's what I sound like, you know, when you start hearing it, and that's the way, I, I didn't like the way my voice sounded, and plus, I'll go into a whole other story, but uh, I, always, I thought I sounded like a girl, because I was, there was one day when I was younger throwing the football with my friend in the front yard, and this kid across the street, he was like a five-year-old or something, six-year-old, came out and started throwing rocks at me and my friend, I was like, what's going on here? And then he went back inside, and we were like, what the heck was that about? And then his sister comes out, and it's like, how dare you throw rocks at my brother? And I was like, what? Hey, we didn't do anything. We are just playing football. And he started throwing rocks at us. She was like, oh, yeah, well, you sound like a girl. And she went back inside. So I always thought it sounded like a girl. Um, so anyways, very insecure about my voice. Um, and I, I became super shy, and I did not talk at all. Um, and it, so... Being like on a show that was like all voice and my character was super scary. It was a thing that I had to get over. I, I, it was, I was shaking going through it because I'm like, oh, what am I going to sound like? And so I couldn't watch it. I couldn't listen to it because it bothered me. You know, That's like crazy. I could not. So I was just like, you know, what? I'm just going to commit to it and you know do the best I can and hope that it sounds right because I needed the job and I really liked the character. And so it's like a weird thing for me to overcome during that. Um, it's interesting because it's like your normal speaking voice is not as high, so it was. It's it not like, as high, but still high. Sort of sound like a girl. <laughs> Wait, it's not that high, but you do kind of sound like a girl, John. No. I mean, it's just. I mean, because like, is it was it partially compression that made it a little higher, or were you? No. Like, Wait. No. It's because I was like, I didn't, I didn't say anything. I was just, I was just like apologizing. <laughs> You know, to this girl that was across the street, and she just wanted to be mean, and yeah, you know, no, said something her. mean, and, <laughs> and it made me super insecure. You know, we all have that. We all have something like that, or some jerk or bully says something or does something, then and, and then it's now something that you have to live with, or something you have to overcome. And so it was something I had to overcome. You know, now jokes on her. <laughs> exactly, and now I do voiceover. <laughs> so.